Semi-final number four in this best of five series. Allianz Power Volley Milano need the win here at home in the Allianz cloud. And the team in blue, the home side, start off rather tidily at the net against Sousa Vimperuja, the block devils. Just one metre 83 tall. Carlo Porro, one of the shorter setters in the league. Up against one of the taller setters in the league, two metre tall, Simone Gianelli, and it looks like there's no problem at all with that thumb. Lovely tempo ball out to Bentara. Regas is dragged into the receive, he's not a, a regular passer and gets a nice reuse of the block, that's standard Milano. And Loser finds the court, the Argentinian middle. First look at Ishikawa on the service line. The service has been one of the, the key factors that just hasn't worked for him. Loser goes after Plotnitsky this time. Thought the pipe was on the way there, but chooses Semenya, who tips it, and that's brilliant defence. This is a wonderful start from Milano. Just on a, a do or die competition, particularly when you know you're playing one of the best teams in the world. Yeah, good serve on to Leon. That set looked uncomfortable. And the ball shoved on the floor. Captain is allowed to do. Well, and maybe just reacquainting himself. Uh, we haven't seen each other in a while, just reminding you that I'm out here. Do you know who I am, I think, is the phrase. Can they keep their attention where it needs to be? Good swing. Good enough pass from Catania. Regas can't get it past that block of Russo and Leon. Oh, it's good defence. That's working well. Oh, it's tight again. Well played, Perugia. Milano have to go once more, and once more, Perugia defend. Wow. This is huge from the Block Devils. Now then, can they win the point? Leon. No, can't get it past Ishikawa's defence. Kaziski, one more try. Taps it down the line, beach volleyball style. What a point. But great job from both sides staying in this rally. Neither team really being able to go 100% on any of those swings. And the patience of Milano pays off. <laughs> oh, lovely. What a lovely moment. Very strange feel to this opening set. This is a pretty much a dead rubber, really. Just about Milano putting the finishing touches on things. And that is world class from Poro and Ishikawa. Delivery there to keep the spacing from the net while moving backwards from Poro is fantastic from outside the end centre. But great job by Ishikawa to go and high point the ball. He's not waiting for the ball to drop into his zone. He gets on him early and that's why he can go hand, over the hand. New development in the game. And Leon being tested here. No, he, he hasn't done enough to keep Semenyuk on the bench and Megarejo from the bench. Fantastic matchup between the Cuban and uh, the Cuban born player in managed to get the game towards the end of the set more on their turns. What a set. <laughs> a little bit tight for Regans to get a full swing on it, but he uses his noggin, his growing experience to get the point. Ishikawa looks so much better tonight. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth. That's the way to bounce back from being benched. The ball line. So with the, the block switch there. Well, it's a tactic that can work, but it looks ugly when it doesn't. Good serve, good pass. Pollard got himself in a pickle on that one. He's angry that he's not made the set to Lozere. But it matters not. Not the cleanest hit from Mate Kaziski in his long and enduring career. It's from Catania, this ball is a long way off the net. Kaziski's back foot on three metres. But it, that ball comes off the net. 
Kaziski on five points with Regas and Plotnitsky now. And how about that? Block is starting to function. Perugia have another problem to solve. Good targeting of the scene there between... Vitelli, the middleman to serve. Losser is on too, so no space for Catania at the moment. And the defence pretty easily beaten. Catelli would like to take a little bit more angle on that serve, on that opportunity. Massive strap thumbs up from Gianelli, and he can do it again. Bentara has suddenly come to life in this match. Wishing that they capitalised on early opportunities in this set while Perugia finds their way back into some serving rhythm. It's a great hit. That is as clean an ace as you'll see. And just splits. Let's see if Russo can find a good serve. Overpass from Kaziski straight into the hands of Flavio. Makes things a little bit, uh, a little bit close sometimes. We're just poking at the ball and sending it long. Nice, Vitelli's first contribution to tonight's match. In the series, unfortunately, there haven't been as many opportunities as he would like to be involved in the attacking phase of the game. It might change how the ball's coming out, how he needs to get his fingers wrapped around the ball to deliver it. Goes to the middle, good read from Vitelli. And Kaziski does what Kaziski does. Of Gianelli. Especially on the long balls when he's working off the net. Leaps in to take the pass. Regas, what a set from Poro. He could have been isolated if that ball had been a bit higher, but he's got it to him so quickly. To give him that space, he can see the block in front and cuts back for the point. Ziski hits Kalachi. Kalachi's passing very well at the moment and defending brilliantly. Oh wow. <laughs> He's so, he is so balanced in the air. Another out of system play. Perugia's serve is starting to cause Milano's pass problems. But fortunately, Milano and their block are doing a job. You fear for Milano if they can't get this set over the line. It's a belting ace. He's on court. So this is something Piazza has been using all season. And it's not required when you've got a guy serving like that. Mate Kaziski, the man to have at the service line. Plotnitsky belts it in on the baseline. Oh my goodness me, and the big names are coming to the party now. Yeah, this is their chance to get into the match. It's a good hit. Regas does indeed come in to pass. Kaziski trying to be super perfect with the set, but can't get it tight enough. Here's the swing for the set, defended by Catania brilliantly. Ishikawa can't get it away, but they get another go at it. Regas this time, defended by Kalachi. Bentara's chance, oh, and he's made it. And that might be the point that changes the destiny of this whole semi-final. Milano's reception is on the back foot constantly. Nice ball, that's more like it. Russo to serve again, let's see if Milano's pass can keep this ball coming into Poro, that's better. Shikawa defends off the block. Kaziski rolls it into the corner. Flat four trying to receive. They caught it this time. Take Regas out at the last second. That's well played by Milano. The top scorer, joint top scorer with Plotnitsky. Another good serve. Better pass from Kalachi. And that's a heavy, heavy swing from Semenyuk. Now then, here's someone that can get Milano back in the set. Poro, great pass. And that's the way to see off a good serve, Bentara. With Kaziski and Regas and Losser. 
to take. Russo passes. Semenyu drills it into the corner and Ishikawa was all over that one. He's gutted he hasn't made the play. Four joint top scorers on 13. Lovely pass from Kalachi. Oh, that's just glorious volleyball from the service line. Oh, he's crunched it. Decent pass from Regas. And nothing for Kaziski there. Getting some court time for Milano. Nice pass. Wow. That was a hell of a hit. Well defended by Catania. Regas on the open hit. Can't beat the defenders. Bentara goes again. Oh, he is cutting loose now. And it's the space that's created for in this third set. Goes hard at it again. Ishikawa gets it into play. And Regas is defended by Gianelli. Kalachi on a moving ball. Gets it to Semenyuk. This is good recycling from Perugia. And another demon swing from Bentara. That is a dirty hit. Working in Perugia's favour. So Vitelli needs to take a little bit more risk on the angle here. Try and hit Semenyuk. Oh, he tries, but fails. Semenyuk just about gets out the way. 25-20, Perugia. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Straight down Bentara's socks. And Regas is, is working hard, but he's not going to be the guy that they can set every ball to. Lovely swing. Oh, what a ball. That's just priceless. Oh, what a way to take the chance. Vitelli aces Perugia. Eight points level with Flavio. The two Perugia middle blockers starting to become more effective in the game. Good pass from Kaziski. And once again, very smooth inside out. So Milano have recovered some composure here. Better. Ishikawa gets a return ball as well. It's so smooth. If you ever get to watch the Japanese teams warm up, it, it is incredible. It is just a masterclass of precision and timing. Well, again, Kaziski not left with many options there. He's not too impressed with Regas. Five points clear. Semenyuk joins Bentara as the joint top scorer on 18 points. He's had a phenomenal run. Megarejo's first contribution is a negative one. And Perugia are running away with this semi-final. Scoreboard, though. He's not in their favour. Six-point deficit as Flavio taps it into play. Megarejo, horrible overpass, and Russo does the rest. And Perugia are on their way to the final. Milano's run is being finished by an incredibly strong Perugia team. And they are putting the finishing touches to a very good series. He's taking this quite hard. It's quite emotional down there, Ferri Regas. Wonderful swing and a collision at the net as well to add insult to injury. Poirot sticks it in the net and Perugia can begin the celebrations because President Gino Cerci and this superstar team are through to the Scudetto finals. They've beaten Milano by three games to one. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.